Did you do... Did you do birthstones? Birthstones is always a fun subject, and you can talk about their significance throughout history. I know that falls under minerals, but... You can, you can talk about those those 12 stones and those 12 minerals and maybe look up a blurb about each one about how how they got to be to that point tectonic plates is a, is another one but that probably was done done around the same time as volcanoes Maybe half Neum. But that would be that would be what I do. That's a good class. Class and a half worth of stuff. Local geology. <laughs> Local geology. Here's some fortified sheep poop. Isn't this spectacular? I don't know if she wants to take the kids outside or not. Oh my am. <laughs> you finished one of your subjects homework, but what's your favorite color? Orange. Hi Inky, welcome in. This class has kind of been a mess because I only know a passing amount of this and two, I don't intend teaching it again. Gotcha. Yeah, I would, I would, I mean, birthstone seems to be a tie-in between rocks and, and geological timelines. I gotta despawn those guys. They're gonna try and climb a mountain and I don't feel like dealing with them right now. Well, Inky, welcome into Twitch, buddy. Hope you're having a good day so far. Hello, yes, this is a rock. That's about all I got. Hi, yes, this is dog. Four stacks. I can't do anything with that right now. Ah! Bye, Abu. Welcome. In. Have a good night, dude. <laughs> Welcome in. Go get your homework done. I can cook some in here too. Grab some more. I'll grab one, two, three. I could extend what I have going on here, but then I have to go get some more coal. I don't have enough coal for all of that.
So what we have is what we have. I know it's riveting content, chat. I need to download Optifine. I haven't downloaded it yet. They have a version for 118 out. They keep updating it though. So they haven't actually finalized it yet. Hi Eden, welcome back. See, I was going to say, I could go up and get some gunpowder, but this will despawn or unload this chunk and it won't, it won't run anymore. The parade was amazing. I'm glad you had fun. The parades at my house, they were always small and they would always throw candy out. For all the kids to go grab. We got candy, hats, and bracelets. Nice. That sounds like a good time. Looks like Tarajra is in front of a fireplace. I'm just waiting on bricks to cook right now. Too legit. But was it bright on the on my face too? Oh no, not really. Oh, that's cool, Eden. What um are are you in the band too, Eden, or no? No, you're an orchestra. Oh, I got you. Well, that's cool. I was a band nerd growing up. I played the tube of the bar. The violin, the tube of the bar. <laughs> Saxophone. Oh, that's cool, Eden. Well, kick ass. Oh, do you, Half Neum? That's interesting. How many years did you play it, Hafnium? This has to be a thunderstorm, right? Nope. Interesting. Do we have a clock? 
We do not have a clock. Four gold and a redstone. Also do this and that. Aha! What instrument did I play? Tuba. For most of my career, I went trumpet, baritone, tuba, and then I was. Um, and then I was first chair state band three years in a row. I was brass se brass section leader as a sophomore in high school. I had a solo in my re my class two A regionals. We 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 competed up one class, and I had a solo. We ended up getting first place, a tuba solo, and um. Almost got a full scholarship to a college, but my band director was a dick. That's awesome access. Yeah, I almost got a full ride. You play the clarinet? Hi, Amanda. Welcome in. How are you today? Drum kit, Jed? How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Is it Jed or Jedi? Jed. <coughs> Your name's kind of hard to read in dark mode. Been lurking playing Minecraft. Awesome. Yeah, right, Access? You got a superior? Nice. Good for you. You play baritone sax a little bit. Yeah, I was a um I was a full brass section leader sophomore year. I was I was leader over the trumpets, the trombones, the baritones, the tubas, the French horns. I'd make sure everybody was in tune. You, you learn a lot. It takes it takes an ear because some people couldn't pick up on it. But you, if you play two instruments on the same note, there's a, if they're out of tune, there's a wah, 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 wah that happens. And you have to, you have to understand how to pick up on that. And if you don't, you'll never, people who are tone deaf can't pick up on that. You didn't get uh, first chair until second half of junior year. Did I do marching band? Yeah, that's where I had the tuba solo. So like we were we were doing a, a show access, and what happens was happened was before my solo, I would walk up and stand in the pit line, and then I had my tuba solo. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And then I broke out from the pit and went back into formation and we made our shapes and everything else. Yeah, Eden. If you don't, you get that wah 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 noise. What's up, Element? How are you, buddy? Yo, it's been a while. I hope you're well. Guys, don't blink. Usually working is here. Bye, Eden. Have a good night. I mean, hi, usually working. How are you? 
had five concert bands your junior year. I was first chair and second in the top band my senior year. I was fourth chair. Our marching band didn't compete. I gotcha. Yeah, we had a really small school, Amanda. I think I think our band total was 40 members, and that was counting, or that was before counting uh, Color Guard. I think with Color Guard, we were at 62 or something like that. <laughs> we didn't have very many people. I was usually the one playing Piccolo, so Solo City for me. Well, then how are you second chair Piccolo if no one else is playing it? Probably means it's time for you to go to bed. Warner, it's probably like what? Two o'clock in the morning for you? Was I in a 4A school? No, I was in a 1A school. It goes the opposite direction, Access. I was in an itty bitty school. My, my, Access, my graduating class was like less than 80 people. Well, access, uh, I think so, yeah. You went to 6A? That's crazy. <laughs> Graduating class of 400. Yeah, we, I, I, we, our, our entire high school had 400 people in it. <laughs> That's crazy to think about. Smack. We probably should make a larger smelter, but I'm just trying to get this stuff right here cooked up for the sake of having it. Yours was considered 8A? That's wild. I didn't know they got that large. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? Total 81 kids in the high school. Half Neum. That's crazy. You're out there in the middle of nowhere too then, huh? Yeah, Amanda, that's crazy. That's too many. <laughs> That's too many. The county I grew up in was one of the largest counties in the state. And I think it's 2010 population for the entire county was like 31,000 people. And it's one of the largest counties in the state. It was not a very big area. I think I think the town I grew up in had like 400 people in it. Flashing yellow light. Mom and pop gas station. It was full service. You pull up. They put, pump your gas. Wipe your windshield off. You'd go in, they had like suckers 10 for a dollar and Bazooka Joe bubble gum and with the little comic strips on them. It was like a little slice of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, usually that's crazy. I didn't know it went to 6A, 8A, and things like that. That's crazy. Hi, Amulet. Welcome in. Do they even still sell Bazooka Joe? I have no idea. K-12 in one building. Nice. 6A is the biggest designation here in Kansas. Oh, you know what? It might be different per state. 
Well, no, because we competed in regionals. Hmm. I want to say the highest was like 3A or 4A. Let's see. Hold on. Bands of America, Morgantown Regional Championship 2021. Hold on. Let me, let me just look here and see if they've got. They usually have it by class. See, this is this is Oklahoma, Indianapolis, Texas, but doesn't have classes like breakdowns. Weird. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. Amulet. Just got linked right there in chat, my friend. <laughs> Geeson, this, this is an older website for sure. This is an older thing. Weird. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That sucks they don't have like 1A, 2A, 3A and things like that. They just have... my finalist photos. Oh, that's kind of cool, huh? I'm a I'm a big band dork. This stuff right here is cool to look at. <clears throat> yeah, it's it, they don't have any classifications. Wow. Some bright uniforms. Oh well. Maybe usually working if you try hard enough. UNL, hope you're having a good day, bud. Thanks for coming in. See, I can't, I can't look up any of my band's things because it'll dox the hell out of me. I really don't want to do that right now. I can help it. <coughs> All I really found is that in Texas, 7A is 3,270. Well, so I mean like... It, it, it was weird because when we were at regionals, we competed with other bands in our same class. But I didn't know that the classes were all different sizes based off the state that they came from. That's weird. I, I think, I think for Bands of America, they have preset class designations. I think that's what it is. And it's based off of your band size, not your school size. Whoa, look at that squid. <laughs> Notice any bugs in 118? Well, there's one right there. Same here with the classes, only for the championship we'd go against 4A schools. It was phenomenal. A lot of the small schools dominated. Well, the reason why the smaller schools did well is because 
it was it was better micromanaging for the band director but also they were they were scrutinized more but the judges could, could kind of give them a little more leeway you know what i mean like if you have five clarinets carrying the woodwinds you're not going to be as harsh on all five of them as like a 30 clarinet woodwind section or whatever because you know if there's 30, it should sound almost perfect. If there's five, you know, you're going to be missing a little bit, but you got to grade them on what you got. So there was an advantage to being a small band, but you had to have a good crew of people who were, you know, teaching the, the band and whatnot. Yeah, right? Bam, look at that. We got some bricks. Chat, I'm done for now. It's been six hours. Um, I'm floating head, hi. Guys, if you're new to the stream, I don't always look like this, I'm sorry. I've had the lights down because my eyes have been hurting. I'm probably gonna go rest my eyes and lay like this for a little bit, but I'll be in Discord. If you haven't followed already, do so. It's free. We'd love to have you guys here. I stream five days a week, Monday through Friday. Today was a special day. It was extra day. Um, if you want to reach me offline, we got socials here. We got Discord, YouTube, and Twitter.